one of my favourite memorable mission moments with young people was around World Youth Day in Australia back in 08. So in 07, the sisters were all inspired to warm the nation up for World Youth Day. So we were going to run all over the place, <laughs> encouraging young people to be involved in World Youth Day because we thought this is a moment that this nation should not miss. And then we took that idea to the World Youth Day people and they said, oh, what about if you focused on Indigenous young people? And that was such an inspired idea. We just took that and ran with it and had a brilliant year working with Indigenous young people doing leadership training. We were in Alice Springs, we were in Darwin, we were in Palm Island and Townsville. And it was such a privilege to work with young people. And then as, we, as World Youth Day was approaching, we were planning what on earth are we going to do at World Youth Day? And we had about three different projects running in the middle of that. There were only about seven of us that were free to go to World Youth Day. So we were stretched doing our three little projects and somebody said, we've been invited to do a catechesis site. And we thought, oh, okay. And that's, that was happening all around Sydney. They were having these sites of about 300 to 350 young people and they'd bring in a bishop and they were asking various groups to animate a site, to run it and to do the music and to do dramas and to make it all hip hop happening for that, that little group of young people. And we, we prayed about it and we thought, it's not really sensible because we haven't got the resources and the people and we're already doing a lot. And then we thought, oh, but I think God's inviting us to and let's do it anyway, <laughs> whether it's sensible or not. So we said, yes, we'll run one of these little sites. And then the World Youth Day people came back to us and said, oh, Great, you can run the one that's for Indigenous young people and that's going to be in the entertainment centre and there's going to be thousands of people and that just like blew the whole project out of water like we couldn't even think about running a little one and then it turned into this massive, massive, massive thing. But it was amazing. It was such a great experience. I can remember standing in the entertainment centre thinking, how did this happen around us? It was, to me, it was like a loaves and the fishes thing. We brought our little capacity as MGL sisters and all that we had to bring. And we said, okay, God, <laughs> we want to do this. We want to do whatever you are asking us to. And then they asked us to do something that was like totally beyond our resources. And God just did it anyway. So we we're in the entertainment center. There were thousands of people all up and up the walls and the whole floor had hundreds and hundreds of indigenous young people from all over the place and during these catechesis days the indigenous culture was really celebrated we had an mgl and a young indigenous person leading each day through the beautiful music and culture and dancing of the of the indigenous young people was celebrated in such a beautiful way it was just amazing to be part of it so that's one of my favorite memories of working with young people and I thank God for that. Mm -hmm.